Hey again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So I'm out here this morning trying to get a bunch more plants in the ground. We're in the week after Memorial Day now. And while I really wanted to get everything planted before Memorial Day, I had been sick and well, that just didn't happen. So this week, everything has to get in the ground. So today I'm doing a couple quick projects. Um, the first one's gonna be in this bed right here while it is still shaded because it's supposed to get almost 90 today. This is the new area of the garden that I made and I'm gonna be burning or holes in the landscape fabric here and direct sowing my zinnias. And then I have another place where I'm gonna be direct sowing sunflowers. Um, part of my first succession. So before I start planting and getting the holes burned, let me show you how everything is gonna be planted. Also, you'll notice my hoop house is right behind me. It's completely full and I will have a tour of that coming very soon. So here is a look at the whole area of the bed by the hoop house. So um, this open area right here is going to be for glads and other direct sown items, probably more succession plantings of sunflowers. And then you can see down below, if I can move the camera kind of steady for you guys, that area is all planted with straw flower, star flower, um, let me think what else I have in there. Feverfew and Dark Mignonette. That is what's in that area. But then this whole area, if I can pan across for you guys, this whole area is about 30 feet long. And the area that I'm going to be planting my zinnias in is going to be about six feet wide. That is going to be all direct sown with zinnias. And this is going to be my main zinnia patch for the year. And then, of course, you can see the hoop house behind me. So this is facing east. And so this whole area is out in the middle, gets full sun all day long. So these zinnias should just grow like crazy. And then if we pan over... So if you've been watching my videos, you know that there's a co-op building that is just to the north here. This long bed right here, that is 96 feet long. Let me actually go in closer for you guys. So here you can see the bed a little bit closer. It's about three to four feet wide. And then the whole thing is about 96 feet long. It goes all the way down this way and all the way back down the other way. You can see these are my daffodils that are about ready to die off. But then here along the building, that's going to be a succession planting of sunflowers, which is exactly what I did last year. And you can see off in the distance, if I can focus for you guys, there we go. Sorry, my camera work is not very stellar this morning. Um, those are uh, sunflowers that self-seeded themselves. So I thought I'm just gonna let those come up and see what they do. Um, but the rest of the bed is going to be all direct sown in sunflowers and it goes all the way down here. Now, last year I had the sunflowers at the back and then at the front I planted my pumpkin seeds and those spilled out onto the cement area and the rock and I grew small to medium specialty pumpkins to sell at an end of the season market and it worked fantastic. So if we just zoom in a little closer, these are the daffodils. The sunflowers will be planted here and the pumpkins are going to be planted closer to the front. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my zinnias first and to get them planted in this area, I first need to burn the holes in my landscape fabric. Now I did a video on this last year and I don't use any template. Um, I do it all by hand just with a tape measure and then one of these butane torches and it goes super fast. So I will link this down below in my Amazon link, but this is just one of those basic um, butane kitchen torches that people buy um, like for those specialty desserts, creme brulee, and then you can get the butane fuel. I just ordered some of these because these are running a little low. They were like $3 and 50 cents a can. And I think this torch itself was maybe $20. So really inexpensive. And then this is my bag of all my zinnia seeds. So I'm going to be planting my zinnias nine inches apart. So I'm just going to lay out my tape measure and start making the grid. Now I have a three foot pathway between the hoop house and my zinnia bed. And I want to go all the way from here, five feet over or five and a half feet, I think. And then I need to leave another two foot pathway over there. So I'll have about a five and a half foot bed of the zinnias. So I'm just going to put this out and I'm going to do this a little bit and then I'll zoom in so you guys can see. But I'm going to lay it. Let's see. This is my pathway. 
So I actually need to burn holes here. So I put the end of the tape measure where I want my first hole. And then I'm going to put one at 0, 9, 18, 27, 36. You get the point. Put a little fuel in the torch. I think it's pretty full. It feels pretty heavy. I also like to make sure to do this before the wind picks up, which it's getting pretty breezy. This does not work the best like any torch when it gets breezy, so I like to do this right away in the morning. So you just turn the dial and then you push this in to ignite it, and then I'm just going to start burning my holes. <laughs> Okay, so that was a good start. That actually took a little bit longer because right here I have two layers of fabric overlapping. Usually it goes a little quicker than that. So let me move the camera in and then you guys can see this more up close. Okay, so here you can see the first row of holes that I made. Now I wanna measure the other way. So I'm gonna put 36 inches right where this hole is. And then I'm gonna make my holes going this way. So I'm gonna go 36, 27, 18, and then I'll have my grid and I can fill in this area. So 36, 27, 18, 9, 0. Okay, there it is. All right, so then looking at these holes, I can fit one more row over where my pathway is going to be. So I'm gonna add that row. I think I'm gonna go ahead and burn this whole area of holes so it's done, and then we'll get the whole area planted. All right, so all of my holes are burned in my landscape fabric. I have seven rows of 38. So whatever that equals out to, that is how many zinnia plants I am going to have. And all of my seeds are in here. I plant mostly the Benary's Giant series because I can pick the colors that I want, but also, they bloom prolifically throughout the entire season and the actual flowers on the plant are really, really big, which makes them the perfect focal flowers. Now, the other variety of zinnia that I am going to be planting, I have a couple varieties in here, is the queen lime series. I think I have the queen lime orange and the queen lime maybe red and the blotch. Um, I'd have to look. I ordered the queen lime peach and I used that in my soil blocks and then I forgot to water them and they dried out. So I do have some of those planted, but I mostly will have the queen lime orange and the queen lime red. And so I'll probably just do maybe 30 plants of those and then all the rest will be the Benary's Giant. Um, my, some of my favorites of the Benary's Giant are the deep red wine, I love the lilac, I love the orange, and then the golden yellow, I always make sure to plant a lot of. So basically, I'm just gonna take my garden trowel and kind of loosen up the soil a little bit in each hole, and then I'm gonna make, um, I'll zoom in on this too for you guys, I'm gonna make a little well in the center, I'm gonna drop two seeds in, cover it up, and then we'll water it in, and that's it. And these should be germinating, I would think, within a week. So let me zoom the camera in for you guys. All right, so basically, I'm going to be loosening the hole or loosening the soil in each of the holes just a little bit. This is really nice topsoil that we had brought in. And so it is not compacted at all, but just for direct sowing purposes, I just want to um, loosen the top so I have a little extra soil to be able to cover the seed. Then I'm going to come in and I'm going to make a little bit of a well in the center and that's where the seed's gonna go and then I'm gonna drop my two seeds in each one cover it up water it in and that's it
Okay, so my entire area of zinnias is planted. I started at the end and did Benary's Giant all the way over till maybe eight rows left. Then I started in with some Queen Lime series. And then the very last row, I did a little cupcakes mix just for fun. Um, I think I have about 270 plants in here. I also have another area of zinnias on the inside of my garden, which is probably about 70 plants. So I think between both spots, I should have plenty of zinnias for the entire season. So so now that this is done, I need to water it in and then let's start on the sunflowers. Okay, so I'm over here in front of my sunflower bed. I already have part of it direct sewn with the Pro Cut Orange Gold Light. Today I'm going to be direct sewing with the regular Pro Cut Orange. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my hoe and I'm going to make a trough along the back of the bed all the way down. It's going to be probably about a half inch to an inch deep. I'm going to put one sunflower seed every four to five inches, cover it with soil, water it in, and that'll be good. Okay, so all the sunflowers are planted. I didn't even count them as I dropped them in, but I'm gonna have a really good amount over on this side. Plus, I'll do another succession planting probably in another week or two and start doing them in this open bed. And I should have a lot more sunflowers than I did last year because I needed more. Um, I probably still won't have as many as I want, but you know, that's how every single year goes. Next year I'll be able to open up even more beds and I'll have more planting space. But anyway, this is a really good start to the season. So um, I just wanted to mention again, I planted the Pro Cut Orange. Pro Cut is a single stem sunflower, so it's a one and done. Um, Pro Cut sunflowers are pollenless, which is perfect for bouquets because then you don't get the pollen that drops all over the table. Um, Pro Cuts also look about absolutely perfect. Um, so this time I planted the Pro Cut Orange. I already have the Pro Cut Gold Light in the ground. I also will be planting at some point um, probably the white light or the peach. Um, I'll probably do some plum and red towards fall, but the main crop I'll plant is the Pro Cut Orange because those are the standard sunflower. So anyway, I need to water everything in. That's going to do it for this video. And I don't even know what I'm going to do this afternoon. Probably plant snapdragons or celosia or something. I'll find something to do. But anyway, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more of the season and we'll see you soon.